My name is Michael Voris. I've battled depression and suicidal thoughts since I was only 9 or 10 years old. Usually, how it goes is I'll be doing well for a while, and then I hear a voice in my head ask a simple question like, how do you know God is real? Or what makes you so sure that if you died, you wouldn't go to hell? Not long ago, I found myself in the hospital on two different occasions having suicidal thoughts because I believed I was going to hell. I went to sleep every night feeling like God hated me and like my life was coming to an end. The hospital put me on antipsychotics, antidepressants, and Benadryl at night so that I could sleep. I had lost a lot of weight because I wasn't eating enough, and what I did eat, I threw up because I was so fearful that I couldn't keep the food down. I would wake up every morning feeling like God was so far away from me and that I was truly alone. And as horrifying as that experience was, when I was in the hospital, I got the chance to share the gospel with two of my roommates. I found myself telling them about God and what salvation meant, even though I was doubting my own. I saw their eyes light up as I shared the message of Jesus. I told them about the love of God, even though I wasn't experiencing it. And as I look back on everything that happened, I can see how God was working behind the scenes to bless others through me. I cried out for God to touch me, and He did it by using me to touch the lives of others. I didn't feel His closeness, but I got to bring others closer to Him. And in a strange way, it brought me closer to Him as well. I believe that a lot of the confidence I had to share my faith in the hospital came from the experience I gained evangelizing during my time at CFNI. If it hadn't been for the times I was challenged to be bold about what I believe, I don't know if that would have come out when I was in that desperate place. I thank God for all the teachers I had and the relationships I made during my time at CFNI. To be completely transparent, I still struggle with doubts and depression. I still have days of questioning everything. I still wake up some mornings and wonder if God is there. But the beautiful thing about God is that He is near to the brokenhearted. That's why it says in Jude 1.22, Have mercy on those who doubt. God is not surprised when I go through these seasons of depression, and He's not up in heaven waiting for me to get my act together before He lavishes His love upon me. That love is there regardless of my insecurities. That love is there for you too, and it is real. My name is Michael Voris, and I am made for evangelism.